Well, here we are at Sand Hill Orchards, and I've got a storm moving in, and it's a beautiful fall evening. And uh, down here, north of the lower orchard, is uh, going to be clear cut, and it's going to have room for a hundred more trees out there, maybe more. Grapes, blueberries, all sorts of things. It's being clear cut all the way around here. You see they're starting over here to my right. Down there, below there, uh, being clear cut now and they're going to work their way around. And then let's go here to the other end of the deck and see the other part that's being clear cut. You can see the brush piles down there. Way off to the right hand side. Might have to put that camera up a little higher. And look. Yeah, now we can see. So down below the greenhouse there, which still isn't finished, uh, if I can afford to get that clear cut too. The orchards are expanding. This is my before picture of uh, before construction. There's a lower orchard down there. And uh, the orchard, the new orchard will be from, that's the north, uh, east-west line right there. Uh, the orchard will go that way about uh, to the north. Uh, another hundred yards or so. And we're clearing off back here to the back property line which is that big oak tree so there'll be a good hundred feet to the east this will be like a lawn out here uh, half shaded throughout the day and uh, it'll be shaded in here until you know the sun comes over the trees uh, and then it'll be it'll be uh, from about here to the left it'll be orchard so that'll be lawn or space for maybe a garden or a garage or a building, maybe someday. And uh, fire pit down here and lawn. And then down over here, if and when I get the money to do this, maybe I already had and I have enough. Uh, this is kind of higher ground out here, but still fairly low, and then kind of swampy and cattaily and stuff down here. Uh, it needs a little, uh, like a duck pond, a shallow pond for retention, and a ditch out to the road. And I could grow something down too, down there too. That's phase two, really though, along there. Most of the maples have lost their leaves and the oaks are turning reds and browns. Soon these trees will all be gone and I'll be able to see out there. Uh, well out to that tree there is about 50 yards. So soon I'll be able to see out quite a ways. Won't be missing color because as I cut the woods back I actually expose more color, more trees. Maple trees have almost all lost their, the red maple have lost their leaves, so there's not a lot of red out there. But that is, in this construction or destruction, maybe coming to uh, this property uh, as soon as two weeks from now. And it's about uh, third week of October, 
So we're about 90% done with the clearing of the trees in this uh, about acre and a half ground. Acre, acre and a quarter, something like that.